Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today for our devotions. As we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd, I'm going to read from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 23 through 26. Then you will walk safely on your way, and your foot will not stumble when you lie down. You will not be afraid when you lie down. Your sleep will be pleasant. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor the destruction of the wicked when it comes, because the Lord will be your confidence. He will keep your foot from being caught. Personal protection is a multi-billion dollar business. Everything from home security systems that are monitored 24-365, or from the airbags in our cars to uh, the constant changing of passwords on the internet. And as aggravating as that might be, it's intended to keep us safe. And then you've got the uh, security systems at the airports, metal detectors and body scanners and all of that. But despite everything we do to stay safe. Problems still reach us. Troubles, disasters still reach us. As God's children, we have a far better security system than anything any company has devised or money can buy. We have a heavenly Father who loves us and loves to keep us safe by defending us against all danger and guarding and protecting us from all evil. What can I expect from my Heavenly Father? Well, think of Daniel hurtling down toward those hungry lions. We can almost feel the swipe of their claws and the bite of their teeth, but nothing happened. God sent an angel to close the mouths of the lions, and Daniel was safe. Or what about Peter? He was arrested, locked in chains between guards in a prison cell deep in jail. But God again sent an angel and simply touched the chains and they fell off and he took Peter by the hand and led him past guards who were standing there awake and at attention through locked doors to the safety of the streets outside the prison. God protected him. And now maybe you can think of times where God has protected you against some calamity was it safety under a surgeon's scalpel or just a minor bump or bruise in a freeway accident or missing an airline flight that later crashed? I'm sure each one of us has our own examples. But what about the numerous times that protection has gone unnoticed? Morning after morning, we rise refreshed from sleep without a clue of the dangers that God has kept away from us during the night? Or how about our traveling from place to place during the day and the hurt he's prevented from happening to us? And there's another way that God helps us, and that's by taking those tragedies, those hurts and pains, and using them to bless us and think of Joseph, sold as a slave, falsely accused of rape, sitting in jail, only to become the second in command over the whole nation of Egypt so that his family could be saved from famine. And again, it's our turn to speak. Each one of us can write our own experiences. And so we look around and we see no flashing lights or security guards or security systems. We look up and see a loving, almighty Father. And those who dwell under his wings are always safe. We pray. Thank you for the many times you daily protect and defend me. 
Help me look to you in times of trouble and days of distress, so that I trust in your loving guidance. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me, and may you always know you are safe in God's hands.